Alright everybody, we're back in Fallout 4. Today, we are going to... You can't see it, you can't see it. Where is it? Where is it? It's over there. You can barely see it. Let me... Let me just... Let me just... That's the wrong one. Let me just zoom in and on it for you. Go into the Pridwin. Uh, if we're gonna do any of the missions that they give us right now, not uh, undecided on that yet. Because the first thing they're gonna give us to do is go to Four Strong. What if that UFO will appear at any point? Last time it appeared when I was running down here, and it just shot over me. That was a night. It wasn't on this save also. It was on a modded save. Maybe it's a certain day it appears. Shit, where do we go from here? Look at this giant fat man on us. We need to go back to Sanctuary. I could just go back to Dan's. It normally says return to Paladin Dan's. D it doesn't this time for some reason. I know. I could go discuss the findings, then go to Good Neighbor, which is, oh, it's a bit, uh, Perilous that trail. Some raiders are a little bit annoying. They always get in the way, and some ghouls. So it might be a little perilous. Per per perilous. It's a bit annoying getting there, because to get there you can't really avoid anything. You can't really avoid anything at all, because it's just narrow streets in a city with many rooftops, many windows. There's things everywhere. You can't avoid them. So I guess yeah, we'll go back to Sanctuary, then we'll go to Dime C, and then we'll try we'll try Good Neighbor, and uh, then we'll go to the Pridwood. I think that's a good idea. We're already ten minutes in. I've literally just I've walked and I've sat here and talked. That's all I've done, and apparently that takes ten minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake, what have you found? What have you found? No! Stop doing this! Stop fucking taking me miles- Stop- You always take me the opposite direction of where I need to go. What? What is it? You better not open that door. Okay, so I guess this stuff in here respawns, so Andy Barn? No. We're gonna leave this out, uh, out of more back at Sanctuary. I bring the cores with me to the Pridwin, though so I can use their power armor. I think T60s are... Yeah, T60s are definitely stronger than T45s. Whoa, okay, that's... Was that the Vertibird? That was the Vertibird. It just crashed for some reason. Why did it crash? So that just happened. I'm gonna go investigate. Maybe I can loot the bodies of the... some of the... Brotherhood. Okay. Wrong one. I think I know what... Fuck me, I, I'm pretty sure I just shot the cell. So I think I know what brought it down now. Probably a bunch of raiders. Unless the UFO took it out, that would've been funny. Where are the bodies? Oh, there's a, there's an arm from one of the Brotherhood. Mm, unless the other two got shot out, I don't know. Possibly. Oh! What the hell? Oh! So literally a Brotherhood guy here and this person just looted him. Yeah, <laughs> literally just looted him. Wow. Alright, finally back. Drop the armor off. After good neighbor, I could probably just go sh straight to, straight to the Brickman. After we get a good neighbor, who we say you need to go to like C5 Virgil. Yada yada yada. You are carrying too much and can't run. Tell me something I don't know. Oh, a literal giant weight was just lifted off my shoulders. Can we upgrade this? We can. To 72. What does our current pistol do? 32. What's this max? 37. Do you like that it has the comfort grip and ball bow with it already? Because that's all I need, and it's just the receiver that uh, I want to have a look. I'm going to call this gun. This is Kellogg's Cornflake. Yep, made that joke. Moving on. Why dunk the sub dump submachine gun? Because I really don't fucking use it. Oh, that's why. Because I was putting my fucking chem. God damn it. I mistakenly put my chems in here. And that's why I wondered why I had so few chems. All the medics in there. Mantats? Man Mantats? Mantats to take with us. Uh, I will take some more psycho. Yeah, fuck it. Take it with us. I'm not gonna add that much on us. 
So we're carrying six antibiotics on us now. That's being safe. But luckily the only the only weight point one of weight, so it's alright that way. Trash can call, are you still here? Yeah you is <laughs> Watch out with me! Alright, let's get going. Ooh, no, no. Rushing into it again, rushing into it again. Didn't sleep. We did not sleep. Okay, there we go. Please don't give me a disease. I don't want it. Sheffield is here and he's happy that I bought him. Hello, Sheffield. I'm pretty sure that I gave you a job, so fucking do it, you bitch. No, but I, I did just remember actually there there is a safe in the cellar that I couldn't unlock before, and I think it's advanced, so I can I think I can go unlock it now. Thirty-eight. Uh, okay, shells I'll take. Uh, you know what, if Trash and Carl is still around, I'm gonna sell that shit to her. Do you have any 44s yet? You don't, you bitch. Get some 44s. I like you more. You just fight. I don't want a fucking baseball. Oh! That reminds me. <coughs> yeah, I forgot. I dumped all this shit on you. Shit, I fucking forgot. God damn it. I always forget! It's always- okay, I need- I said it last time, I need a- I need to fucking- I probably wasn't in the video when I said it, but uh, I need a fucking I need to use my sticky notes and and have a to do. I need to put it underneath the Xbox. Oh, uh, what is okay? What happened there? Your cigarette's in your hand, by the way. I thought I'd just point that out. Oh wait, I just thought we do have to go to Dom C, but we have to go to Cambridge first. Don't we? Before we, uh, before we can go to the Pridwin, I forgot that. So we actually can't go from Good Neighbor to. Hey, you know what? We'll um, go to Diamond City first anyway. Uh, and then after we've got the mission from Nick to go to Good Neighbor, we'll go back to Cambridge and um, get to the Pridwin, and then we could then head from the Pridwin and then to Good Neighbor, and we could probably avoid any deadly things. By going that way. That's a lie, there's actually a lot of deadly things near the edge of there. But, you know, we'll try. Okay, one thing about the UFO crash. Uh, we might be able to catch it one day. But, it... It's crashes... How it crashes implies that it comes from over there, down here. But, when I saw it, it came... It came right over Fort Hagen, which is over there. Over... Yeah, over there. So how the fuck does that make sense? Hello, Vertibud. Yeah, he's probably firing someone. So yeah, that 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 was a bit... Uh, confusing for me. Uh, they really fucked that one up. Alright, reliable bed. No disease. Actually, I'm gonna check. Okay, no. Pretty sure I've plundered it, all of this area. See? No disease. Such a reliable bed. If you want if you want a good trustworthy bed to sleep in whilst you're playing survival, outside of Vault 81, that bed in the in the what in the uh security uh post thing is uh is the bed for you. I've got the mission to return to Paladin and Dan's now. Ben is here now. Good to hear Claire. Speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? I was too late. I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. We need a way, Nicholas. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. 
And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Uh, he's in hell, burning with Batman. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. It'd be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Well, I told him. When you tell me where I can find my son, you have my permission to die. I do it again, damn it! I kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a vault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Okay, then. Sorry, no, don't care. Let's see, if you're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain, enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no lead. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I already have something. I have a little piece of his brain. I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with us? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. They're on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public in a few minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get out of the way. Fucking hell. I feel good. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing. Back to Cambridge. Crossed, you're in room two. Oh, that's, uh, that is Becky Fallon, right? So I can't remember, was it, was it Becky Fallon, who's Max's mom from Nuka World? The leader of the operators in Nuka World, her name is Max, and I remember reading holotapes and stuff, uh, from her mother, and I, th I think it was Becky Fallon? I think her last name was Fallon, and I think it was... And she mentioned Diamond C, and I remember the name Fallon. So I was like, I swear I've seen a Fallon in Diamond C. So I think it's Becky Fallon. It could be, I could be wrong. Might have to consult it again. <sighs> the Coast Guard hat, I'm absolutely taking that. Hello there, Dance. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship? I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. War! <gasps> Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Oh, yeah. Picking on a death squad without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. Mate, I took on a death claw without backup. Look at me now. Don't meet you ready. What's my weight at? We're good. We're good. I, I don't actually think you can jump on with me, but eh, you know. Bye, dog meat. Sorry, dog meat. Ah ha 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 ha! 
Uh, oops. I may have just, um... I may have just fucked it. Okay, can we, uh... When's the last save? We might be fine. We might be fine. Because I may have just... The thing I blew up may have, uh, hit the initiate that was fixing the, um, deep range transmitter that was on the thing. And then the shot came at me. I don't know if it was from the Brotherhood, but it was a laser rifle shot, and not many people carry laser rifles unless they're the Brotherhood. Buggy hell! Ah. I'm a bit scared now that when we land I'm gonna die. Yeah, I think I think they're not happy with me. They're not happy with me. Uh oh. Yeah. That wasn't the wisest idea. Okay. We're, no, we're not, we're not too far. Alright, try it one more time. Oh, I know there's some bloody raiders around here. Ah, uh, Die, potential threat. Hey, that's where the Institute is. I mean, what? Here we go, we're docking. Look at that. There's the airport. <coughs> it's a very loud dock. Oh god. There's another one. Jeez Christ, so close. Hello. Permission grant. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your report. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit at your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Paladin Dance is taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Nicely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address, after which Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. I'll have a run around um, the Pridwin <laughs> for a bit. The road behind has been logged and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. And on the beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the Apple, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I 
am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their cities are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Advertisement. Oh, is that not it? Is it uh, what was it? Oh, Ad Victorium, that's it, that's it. All right. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. You know, the people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. My best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Let's have a look around. Let's have a little scavenge. Stimpaks. Noise. There's a lot of stuff on the Pridwin, that's why I came here. Yeah, we'll make a trek to Good Neighbor after this, and I think after Good Neighbor we'll end it. And then next time... Don't know. We'll have to have a look through the missions, because... Now we're at the Pridwin, we'll have a lot more missions. It's opened up the door to a lot of uh, areas and opportunities, so we don't have to unconfidently barge into every story mission. Right, now we're going up to the, um, in inside the Pridwin itself. <laughs> He'll do his business where I fucking tell him to. Do you want shit on your face, Sergeant? Do you want dog shit on your face, Night Sergeant? That's, yeah, that's what I thought. You better turn around. How did it go with Elder Max? Uh, shite. He's a dickhead. Dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Oh, I've got dog meat with me. I'll go it alone for now and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. You mess. Hey, level up. Nice. That's my armor. Das. Das it. Oh, it's beautiful. T60. So I got really, really, really bored of sitting here editing and listening to these characters speak. Just so bored. Especially after I've played this game over 50 times already and I already know what they're going to say and do. I decided that... You know what, considering the delayed audio situation that's going on right now, making it pretty hard to edit them correctly in time with the beginning and the ends of their sentences since they're seriously delayed from the video, I just decided to do a summary, do an overview, a quick overview of the characters just to get them done with and then you know who they are and you don't have to listen to them drone on about some shit that they don't care about. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's go. Now first we have Proctor Teagan, the wealthiest tradesman in the Commonwealth, and who I'm pretty sure is being held here against his will. This trader, like any other, will buy and sell anything you need, but he will make you sit there and listen to him talk about his very simple job for five minutes whilst you slowly gain a hernia from all the shit you're carrying. Ow. I hurt. Please stop this conversation. Yep, yeah, I do need, I do need it, I do need it, so can you stop talking please? But after that I found out that I couldn't even trade with him until I met everybody else. Ah, oh, No, I need to talk to you now. Oh, fine. On to the next one, I guess. 
Secondly, we have Proctor Ingram. She works as the head engineer in the Pridwin. She has to walk around in a power armor frame because she lost her legs in a battle. But don't try to ignore it when you meet her. Apparently she gets real confused and a little annoyed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. I guess you could say she's like a cyborg wearing that power armor. It really doesn't do much for her. It's just a frame. She could really do with putting some actual armor on there, you know, to protect herself. So right now she's just like a bootleg Robocop. Anyway, next one. Thirdly, we have this dashing looking man, Proctor Quinlan. Yeah, I know, there are a lot of Proctors here. This guy is... I don't really know what he is. He's just really obsessed with technical documents and informative papers, and also has a cat. I'm fairly certain he's a hoarder, but let's just call him the librarian and leave it at that. And finally, we have Knight Captain Cade. The man with a cool yet very misleading title, since he's the ship's doctor and has probably never even killed a rad roach. However, being a doctor, he'll typically ask you more than you've ever wanted to tell a stranger. But it's the wasteland, hey, who cares about your embarrassing secrets? Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk and it was a dare and ugh. That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Overall, there's not much to say about him, really. He's a doctor, and your prostate is safe in his hands. Uh, what is she next? Uh, oh yeah, I think we have to report back to Maxin and get the mission for Four Strong. Uh, we won't do that right now, though. I was thinking maybe I'll either get to Good Neighbor then end it there, or get to Good Neighbor do them. It, it all depends on how long it takes to travel. Deegan! Deegan! Deegan, you're going to be seeing a lot of this, buddy. Much better. Look at me. Brotherhood. I just need the legs now. Let's go. Come on, deck. We're at, half an hour. We're at two and a half hours. So let's uh, go as fast as we can. Let's rush down to Good Neighbor. Yeah, there's a reason in particular why, some, why I'm doing the, the Brotherhood stuff. Uh, this big uh, platform here has to do something with it. So yeah, that will appear later on in the game. I think we'll um, try tre trekking through the waters, which I'm really not not gonna enjoy. <laughs> it's the quickest way around, like, the, the only other way around is over there on the bridge. Oh shit. I didn't sleep before I left. I really need to go. Okay, I'll go find a bed in the airport somewhere. I'm not going all the way back up to the Bridwin. <laughs> right, I know I say I shouldn't sprint, but I'm sprinting because I don't want this to go over three hours. The time before the last time I had a video that went over three hours, I got so bored. Well, it was just full of so much nothingness, I got so bored. Please tell me there's a bed down here somewhere. Just one bed is all I need. There's no beds, is there? Okay then, back up to the Pridwin. So I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, it's so many loading sequences. It's three approximately. This one, and to go into the Pridwin, and then to go up into the... What? Did he just... Did he just su- Dog me, I fucking hate you. I hate you so much. You've wasted so much of my time. It's Maxon. That's annoying, I was gonna end it with Maxon. Okay, unfortunately we're gonna have to end it here, because we're almost uh, hitting the three hour mark on my recording, so I don't wanna... I don't wanna exceed that limit. I was gonna go to Good Neighbor. Uh, and then end it at Good Neighbor, but uh, I forgot to I forgot to save in the bed before I left, so so much time was wasted from that. But we're, we're just gonna end it here. It's been an okay episode. We've done nothing. <laughs> We've done nothing this entire episode. I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna end it here with Maxon behind me, but looks like Maxon isn't here, so I guess we'll just have to end it alone on the command deck. Forever alone. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I do these every Friday. And I will see you guys next time. Damn.